we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chalamet City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here's I'm still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. with your Volvas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, he did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Comrades! 
Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina to activate the scanner just make a special gesture please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it the palm of your hand should be facing the object contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. This is facility 3826. Oh, welcome to your future. Today, we stand 
Man of the Great, the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. Report to the lobby of that high rise, Comrade Major. They're waiting for you. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of... So glad to attack. see you're taking it easy, it Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. The it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, at least. A network of humans and robots. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. On behalf of all at facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now.